All right, what up, YouTube? First App Comics back at you with another video. Today we're talking about Marvel's Eternals. With the movie coming up about a year and a half away, I thought it would be a good idea just to run down some of these books. Um, talk about some first appearances, key books, and whatnot. They only have around 52 published comic books um, in the world right now. So, uh, with that in mind, I uh, thought it would be a good idea just to kind of run through some of the more key ones. But we're going to find basically any of these that you see out for cheaper prices than face value or anything like that uh, are going to be worth buying. Alright, Marvel's Eternals, Volume 1. Debuted in 1976. It's a 19 issue set with an annual. Uh, basically, all these are keys, basically, in the uh, mythos of uh, the Eternals. So, you're probably, you see any of these out for cheap, man, you might as well. Um, issue 1 is the first app of Icarus and the Eternals. Uh, issue 2 is the first app of Ajax and the Celestials. Issue 3 is the first app of Circe. Issue 4 is the second app of Circe. Issue 11 is the first app of Kingo Sunan. And the first app of Unimine is issue 12. I will note a lot of different sources to find key books on this stuff. So all these uh, between the Overstreet Price Guide, CGC Graded Books, CBSC Graded Books, uh, the rest of these um, are all really have notations, but none of them show up besides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 12. Um, special note here, issue 14 and 15 uh, is Cosmic Powered Hulk, but then I've also found other sources that say it's a Robot Hulk. I've never read these comics, so I don't know for sure. Uh, it's just a fun notation. You see issues 14 or 15 out. Uh, that's the appearances there. Uh, issue 19 is the last issue. The only two issues in this volume that I can't find significant things for is issue 10 and issue 19. But again, 19 is the last issue of the first volume. Probably ended in 1978, so you know that's really old. Plus, it's the last issue of the volume. Generally, those are pretty, pretty hot books. Um, yeah, but other than that, I mean, yeah, issue nine is saying it's the first app of Sprite, which is probably a character that's already casted in the movie. You know, so any of these issues in volume one are really heavy with uh, Eternals mythos and uh, first appearances of characters and key characters. Um, and this will get updated as the movies come out uh, throughout the Overstreet book and the rest of the stuff. These issues, all four of their small little volumes, all 50-something comics of theirs will be updated. And uh, we'll have correct, hopefully correct information across the board there with these issues. Uh, volume 2, let's move on, 1985. It's a 1 through 12. You'll know this volume because at the top of the comics, it has, you know, if you bought issue 1, it'll say issue 1 out of a 12 limited series. Um, no annual with this one that I could find. Uh, basically, all these have notations as well, but not on your graded books. Um, but again, I would pick these up, you know, for a couple bucks. You, you can't beat it. And as the Eternals get three movies, they're going to be able to flesh out all 50-something comics they have here. And plus add a lot more to it. And, and we know Marvel will pump out comics in the time the movies are going on as well and make them more popular and relevant. Uh, 1991, there was an Eternals uh, one-shot called the Herod Factor. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's one of them there. Issue, t issue uh, in, sorry, in the year 2000, the new Eternals issue one came out. Uh, and then bridging that gap, we got 2006, volume three, and that's Eternals issues one through seven. Gorgeous cover arts, you know, Neil Gaiman, Rob, John Romano Jr. Uh, there's variant covers for these. These are awesome. I'm just showing you a couple pictures of these. Um, moving on to volume four, which is the dot com volume, um, 2008. It's a nine issue set with one annual. I feel like this is 
probably going to be the most relevant um, as in storytelling because they have uh, the Manifest Destiny X-Men crossover stories. I guess it's issues six through nine and maybe part of the annual. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend any of these, picking up any of these. Uh, actually, before the coronavirus thing hit and shutdowns happened, I picked up uh, a, a few of these at my half price bookstore. Uh, for a dollar a piece, I probably got like four or five different issues from a couple different volumes. Um, so they're still out there and about. People are really not thinking about it until they're going to start getting trailers. So when we start getting trailers, that's when people will start getting excited about it and start wanting to know about it. So you know the game. These comics are awesome. All these cover arts are amazing. I've got a special notation here for a special book. It's called uh, Strange Tales, issue 109. It's the first circle, first appearance of Circle who later becomes Circe. So I don't think it's like a character that they debuted and then she morphs into Circe. I think it's, they debuted this character Circle and then years later they said, let's just re and recreate this character as one of these eternal slash God people in our universe. So that's it, that's all I got for you, Eternals. Any of these comics you see out, I would say grab them. Hope you like this video. You guys have a great, safe day. Thanks.